Hey guys, welcome to Cooking with Priscilla. I'm Priscilla. If you're new, please subscribe, like, comment, share, and hit that bell notification for my next video. So guys, today I am making pepper steak. So this is cube steak. We have uh, two packs of those. I am adding some tomatoes in my cube steak. I know some of y'all probably like, what? Yes, I have tons of tomatoes and I have to put them in like almost all my meals because we're trying to get rid of them as well as can them. And I have some um, rainbow peppers. So we're going to add only three rainbow peppers, yellow, orange, and red, and some red onions as well as some minced garlic, guys. And for our sides, I'm going to add some rice and a vegetable. I don't know if I'm going to add beans or not. We'll decide at the end. But let's get into this. Let's go. Oh, and make sure you clean your meat. Throw some vinegar inside of this water bowl or throw some um, lemon juice in there to clean your meat for at least 15 to 20 minutes. But let's get into this video, guys. I'm going to cut these vegetables up and then we're going to season our meat. Guys, I'm noticing every time I cut up something, I'm thinking I'm recording and I'm not recording. But this is what my onions look like cut up as well as my green peppers. And I'm going to come back and I'm going to cut those up later. But first I'm going to put some oil in the pan and I'm going to get it nice and hot to throw my onions in and my peppers as well as my garlic. So I'm going to try to record me cutting up these tomatoes right here. But my camera be acting funny sometimes. So let's go. Okay guys, so now we're going to put our onions and our pepper and our garlic inside of the pan. So I was told that the pan doesn't have to be hot before you put your onions and garlic in there. That's supposed to, it's supposed to go that way. So we'll see how this work out. I think it's the same thing, whatever. Let's get the garlic. So we're adding the garlic and we're gonna mix this up. And yes, I am using the back of a spoon because that jar is really <laughs> small. So yeah, let's let that get hot. This is my rice right here. I put salt, pepper, onion powder, garlic powder, and cilantro leaves in here. And now I'm just gonna put my top on and I'm gonna let it do its thing. And then our onions and garlic and peppers are finally getting hot. That is what that looks like, guys. It looks so freaking pretty. I love colors in my food, for real. And right now I'm gonna cut up some green onions as well. All right, so I have my green onions right here. And I'm going to cut them up, you know, nice size. These are the ones that I cut off from the uh, Walmart haul. The green onions that I cut off that I'm trying to grow. So I said, let me just throw this in there as well. Because, guys, steak is amazing with onions. So I'm going to use that much. And that's it. And now I'm going to cut up my tomatoes. So let's throw this in there. Guys, it smells so freaking good in here. So let's cut up our... Lemon boy, this is my last lemon boy, y'all. This is my last one. So I made sure to save some seeds. So yeah, so let's cut this. And I like to cut it, you know, a nice size because I don't want like chunks of tomatoes in the uh, sauce. This makes a really good sauce. I did make this before and it's so freaking good, guys. Look at the flesh on this. It looks so good. It looks so freaking good. And this tomato tastes so good, y'all, for real. But it does cook down, so that's a good thing. First, I let my steak, you know, cook, like, about maybe 15 minutes. And, you know, let the, let the red go away first. And then I throw my tomatoes in. So about 15 minutes, and then I throw the tomatoes in. So this, I don't know what this is, guys. It might be a large cherry tomato. have no idea. But I'm going to throw this in the steak as well. This one is a little more softer. And this is perfect for cooking. And these seeds. Y'all see how big these seeds are? I'm definitely going to save some of these. They are big. So this is about it. I don't want too much tomato. So this one, I'm going to leave this one out. I'm going to save that for next time. Maybe for breakfast or something like that. I have another onion. Let's throw that in there when the time is right. But let's see what the um, onions and peppers and garlic looks like. Guys, when I say this looks and smells amazing, like, oh, I cannot wait to throw my steak in there. Like, ooh. All right, y'all, let's season this steak real fast. Matter of fact, I'm going to just season it in the pan. All right, y'all, so I'm going to move everything to the side so I can have make room for the steak, for our cube steak. So it's nice and hot and it's ready. So we're going to get to seasoning this bad boy. And it's going to be good, y'all. So this is what it looks like after I put, you know, lemon juice, let it soak for 15 minutes. All the blood is gone, and that is what I'm looking for. But yeah, these steaks are good. Guys, I got this from my local supermarket. 
and it looks and smells amazing. I cannot wait to eat this tonight. Alright, first I'm gonna start with my salt. So I don't wanna be I don't wanna be heavy handed with the salt, so I'm gonna be careful and don't put too much salt. Because we are also using adoba, and this is what I'm using next. Adoba. It's really humid, y'all, so please forgive my adoba. It is a little clunky. <laughs> but yeah, make sure you season your steak well. Because you do not want no bland steak at all. You do not want that. And I feel like adoba is a must. It really gives your um, steak that kick as well as that song. But now I'm going to put some badia in there. Badia complete in there. And guys, you can use as much as you want of this. This is just herbs, garlic, onion powder. Use as much as you want of that. And then I have some garlic powder that I'm going to put in there. Use as much as you want of that as well. But do do remember that you're going to do the other side. But I'm going to do my side, the other side, lightly. Because I went in on this side. So, yeah. We do not want it to be, you know, really, really strong. So, my pepper. I add my pepper in here. This is what the pepper looks like. I love pepper. So, this is pepper steak. So, I'm going to do it up with this pepper, y'all. <laughs> what else am I missing? Um my cilantro leaves guys i use cilantro in everything i love cilantro so i'm going to put a little bit of cilantro in there and then i think i have onion powder that i'm going to put in there yes this is my onion powder and then we're going to flip these bad boys over y'all oh how can i forget my lemon pepper it gives it that zing that it needs you need some lemon pepper in your pepper steak you really do so let's season that real good now like, like i said the other side i'm going to be pretty much lighter on that so I'm gonna flip these bad boys over let me get my little tongue all right so it is time to flip it and like I said I'm gonna be way lighter on this side excuse me y'all if y'all hear Christian in the background so excuse that he's watching TV of course all right so let's season this side now as you can see it's very very bland let's put this tongue down and like I said, I'm going to be not so generous with this side because the other side is doing good. <laughs> it has a lot of seasoning. So, lemon pepper right here. That's my rice y'all hearing. I have garlic powder right here. And then a badia complete. And I forgot my sesame on the other side. But we're going to flip that and throw that back on there. Throw some adoba. Told you that adoba acting funky. This is my badia adoba. Gotta shake it hard, y'all. Gotta shake it. And like I said, I don't need too much. So, be pretty okay. Let's throw some pepper in there. Let's throw some pepper. Of course, we need our pepper, y'all. And I don't remember if I put garlic or not, but we're gonna throw some garlic powder in there. And some cilantro leaves. I love cilantro leaves. And I'm gonna open up my... um sasson because sasson makes everything better you can add this in your rice your chickens your meat your beef your lamb your goat whatever you want to put your sasson and your goya on it told y'all it makes everything better so i'm gonna split this up and put this on this side and we're gonna flip this again and try to get some sasson on the other side if i can grab my tongs okay let's flip that bad boy it's looking good y'all but it's missing that red color that i'm looking for so let's straighten this one out as well as this because we want to get it nice and seasoned. And then you take your knife and stab your meat. You can do it before or after. It really doesn't matter. But just get it done, you know. All right, we need some more sasson. Let me get another sasson. So for the sasson, we're going to use like a pack and a half. So there we go for that. That's what that looks like. And, of course, I'm going to get my aluminum for you. Cover it up. I'm going to put two one-third cups of water in here as well because I want a nice gravy, guys. So, let's get some water. So, let's add our water in there. One more cup. This is cup number two. So, we're going to get our aluminum for you. And we're going to let it do what it do. Let it cook for about two, two and a half hours. It's going to be nice and tender, y'all. And do not forget to stab your meat. And let me show y'all. Matter of fact, let's do this now. So, let's stab it up. Get all the parts, dab it all up, y'all. You want it nice and tender, and do it on both sides. Stab it up on both sides as well. 
and that looks good y'all do y'all see that that looks so good it's gonna taste so good as well did i add lemon pepper i don't know but i'm gonna add a little lemon pepper i don't remember i'm gonna look back at the video matter of fact because i don't want to over season this i want it to be good with that rice so i decided to make white rice i'm gonna add a vegetable and i probably do like a biscuit or some type of bread or something y'all but yeah that's what it's looking like y'all yes all right guys now i'm gonna add my tomatoes in since the meat is fairly done add my tomatoes get all that nice stuff in there and then you just simply just mix it in put your top on top of the pot but yeah guys look how it looks it looks so colorful i love color in my food i don't know how many times i can say that color makes you want to eat your food like yes you eat with your eyes but yeah let's let that sit okay guys my steak is all done this is what my steak look like and this is what my vegetables look like and i'm about to show you the rice so that completes my meal if you like this video you know what to do hit that like button subscribe that bell and all of that good stuff shalom family y'all loves you come out of her and just cook shalom